All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people in Manhattan, the Boogie Down Bronx, Queens, all over Staten Island, and my home borough, Brooklyn. <laughs> Back after another video, and this is going to be on Kyrie Irving's 60 point game. I mean, just the other day, Carl Anthony Towns had a 60 point game, and that was just the highest any player had for a season, and now Kyrie Irving tied it. And he would have surpassed it that Steve Nash and I pulled him out the game, but you know, they were up like 150 to. I, I think they ended up winning the game 150 to 108 or something like that. It was a blowout, but you know, so I can understand when Kyrie out of a, pulling Kyrie out of a blowout, but still, Kyrie probably could have got 62, 65, hell, 70. You never know. You never know. But Kyrie Irving, man, this dude is just exceptional. He's one of my favorite players in the NBA to watch since he's been in the NBA. I remember when Kyrie was at Duke. I was a fan of Kyrie's when he was at Duke, man. This dude, just the way he. You know, his handles and how he gets to the cup, how he scores. He's, you know, very artistic, like, in how he plays the game. He has a very artistic approach. You know, and that's why and he even said that. I'm an artist. You know, he was ridiculed for that by people like Charles Barkley and others. Because, like, that, look, nothing against Charles Barkley, but Chuck didn't have an artistic approach to the game. Maybe if he did and he was more serious, maybe he would have won a championship. Just saying. I love Charles Barkley, by the way. I'm just saying. Kyrie is a champion. Chuck is not. But, um. Kyrie, man, I swear, Kyrie Irving, he's going to go down as, you know, your favorite player's favorite player. What I mean by that is it is this. You know, in hip-hop, you know, if you follow hip-hop, Gucci Mane, you would call your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Or in boxing, you know, Roberto Duran, he gets called your favorite fighter's favorite fighter. Kyrie Irving's going to be that. He's going to be your favorite basketball player's favorite basketball player. I think for this generation, him and Steph Curry, when I say this generation, I mean the kid to our 12, 11, 10 years old now watching Steph Curry, watching Kyrie Irving. You know, they're going to they're gonna grow up and when they get to the NBA and reporters ask them, who's your favorite player growing up? They're going to say Kyrie. They're going to say, you know, Steph Curry. You know, for the kids who grew up in the 2000s, or 2010s, you know, their favorite players were probably Kobe, LeBron. You no, know, for me, personally, me, it was D-Wade, but you know, that's just me. Some people might say, you know, whoever else, Kevin Durant. You know, if you grew up in the 90s, of course, that's Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's the ultimate. I mean, Kobe, LeBron, and AI looked up to Jordan. So, hey, it is what it is. But Kyrie Irving, man. Can somebody explain to me how the hell Kyrie Irving was not named to the 75 greatest players of all time list? Oh, I know why. Because he left LeBron James. He's become one of the media's targets. I mean, once you, are, once you um, cast yourself as a threat, or you're against LeBron, the media's going to get on your ass. A la Kevin Durant, a la Kyrie, you know, Steph Curry for a while. You know, that's just how they work. And look, I'm not going to call people out, but there are certain people on the 75 best players list who shouldn't be on that list. I'm not going to call them out, but I I think most people, I think there's some. There's one player who's playing currently who's on the 75 best players list who should not be on it ahead of Kyrie, but that's all I'm going to say. And I think you'll probably know who I'm referring to. But because personally, I would say Kyrie over that person because Kyrie's proven, you know, he, I mean, he won a championship. You can say, oh, well, he had Kevin Love and LeBron. He had LeBron and Kevin Love, blah, blah, blah. Who hit that shot to win the series? That's the most underrated, least talked about championship winning shot in NBA history. Like, <laughs> People talk about the Jordan shot against Utah, the Ray Allen shot. No one talks about Kyrie's shot. And Kyrie was ex- exceptional in that series. Now, I wish Kyrie didn't get hurt because I truly think the next year, when Kyrie's, or when Kyrie was in Boston two years after they won the championship, I think they could have got to the finals. I'm not saying they would have won, but they probably, if Kyrie was healthy that series, they would the Celtics would have won and they would have got to the NBA finals and maybe took the Warriors seven. Maybe I'm not saying again. I'm not saying they would have won, but you never know. But unfortunately, he did get hurt, and he fell out with his Boston teammates, and you know, you know, you know, it hasn't worked out here in Brooklyn so far, so far. But Kyrie Irving, man, he is easily one of the 75 best players to ever play. He has the best handle I've ever seen. You know, growing up, growing up here in New York City, you know, Kyrie's from Jersey. Shout out to all the cats in Jersey. You know, Kyrie, I've seen a lot of dudes with a lot of great handles. You know. Got Kimball Walker's from the Bronx. I watched highlights of, you know, Tim Hardaway Sr., who's from Chicago. Isaiah Thomas from Chicago. You know, Rod Strickland, a.k.a. Bronx Jelly, who's Kyrie's godfather. I've seen lots of guys who had great handles growing up here in New York. Okay, but Kyrie probably has the best overall handles, and he's probably the best layup maker 
of all time. He's so artistic with it, man. I, I, I love watching Kyrie. I really do. I have for a long time. But anyway, tell me what you think in the comment section down, down below. Should Kyrie have been in the 75 best players list? Is he your favorite player to watch? Do you think the Brooklyn Nets will come out the East and win the championship this year? And if you had and you can if you had to remove someone from the seventy five best players list and put Kyrie Irving on it, who would that player be? Let me know in the comment section down below. Click the like button, subscribe, hope you have a on YouTube. Follow me on Patreon. I posted three videos so far. I'm working on other ones. And I'll see you all.